Good morning, everybody. Happy Sneaky Peek Day 2 for the My Creative Time 140th edition release. I'm ex so excited to be back with you guys today. I hope you saw yesterday's video where we all shared projects uh, using the sweet new um, gnomes. There's both a stamped gnome as well as a paper piecing gnome. And of course, the beautiful paper pads, which I'll show you again in just a moment. Um, so that was the first day of Sneaky Peaks, and uh, there were so many beautiful projects by everybody that's part of the design team. Um, it's wonderful to see everybody on Instagram. Uh, the bloggers have switched over to an Instagram format, and uh, we're going to be doing on Friday both an Instagram and a YouTube hop. Um, and there will be two uh, prizes given away of the entire April 2024 release next month. So that is very exciting. And if you leave a comment on all of the posts um, and follow all the instructions, you could be one of the winners. Um, so very fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the sneak peeks as much as I am having fun creating projects. Um, I Like I said, I've used almost every single piece of paper that I was sent to me to make things. And today, of course, we're sharing these pretty scallop heart dies. And uh, this is a wonderful staple to have in your stash. Um, and I love having dies like this um, just to make cards where you can almost do anything with them. And hearts are universal. Of course, um, we all send love to our relatives and friends for a variety of occasions and reasons, from birthdays to sympathy cards to weddings to births, um, you know, so many different things when we welcome a new child into the world. So a, a set like this is just something that's wonderful to have. And uh, you can see that there are three sizes and each one has an outer scallop layer as well as a stitched inner layer. And so uh, there's this one that across is approximately, um, this one is about four, almost five inches across at the widest point. Uh, the middle size one is about three and a quarter inches across at the widest point. And then the smallest one is about two inches across at the widest point. So those are the sizes of the three sets. Um, and it's so nice that you have both that outer scallop and then that stitched layer. So that is the die set, uh, the pretty scallop heart dies. And let me set that aside. Okay. Oops. And here are the two paper pads again. We have the spring 2024 paper pad. We flip through and show all of the individual pages in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that video, you can go back and take a look. But you're getting, um, this is the MCT P24 paper pad, spring 2024. It's a six by eight and a half paper pad, 24 sheets total for each of the six designs shown. And I love this beautiful script print. It's one of my favorite things just to use in so many ways on all your cards. And then, of course, having bright, uh, simple patterns, it makes card making so easy. And then on the solid papers this time, Emma added a little tiny bit of some ink splatter distressing to them. Very beautiful. And then, of course, she did these printed... Um, typed uh, pages for the back sides. And again, a wonderful staple to have. I love text papers. So those are the two paper pads uh, for this uh, release. And I just love them. I have just one sheet of each left um, for the purposes of uh, showing the pads during the release. The other products that I used um, on my projects that I'm going to be showing are the Small Flowers dies. This is MCT D430, and you've seen me use these many, many times. I love stacking the different dies up to create flowers. And uh, I also used some of the foliage dies. Uh, the foliage dies is MCT D427 on some of my projects. So that is one of the die sets. And then the other die set are the cute card dies which is MCT D305. And this has the card base as well as various stitched and non-stitched uh, backgrounds that you can use uh, to create your mini slimline style cards. So let me get started. Um, I did a lot of different uh, things, uh, including just making some tiny cards to share with you. Um, I started off just taking the middle uh, heart die and creating some very simple cards. I call these like little enclosure cards. These, um, this particular size, uh, let me grab an envelope just so you can see. 
I'll grab this one from yesterday. So you can see that this will fit in the three by three envelope die. Okay, so you can definitely make an envelope to go with the card if you'd like. But this is the perfect little size for little enclosure cards. You could use this on a wedding gift, for a baby gift. You could do so many different things with just this beautiful heart set. And the way I did it was I cut the background piece and then I made a card base from the, the, the plain heart die. And um, let me show you how I do that just in case there's some people that don't know how to do it. Um, I'm going to grab the die again. So uh, the way you do that is when you have your cardstock, your folded piece of cardstock, you're going to die cut with the die uh, just slightly off the edge of where the fold of the cardstock is. So you'll line this up and tape it in place. And you only need a little tiny piece off the edge. And then when you run this through your die cut machine and the heart comes out, it will be attached um, where the fold was, so you create a card. And um, what I do is that after that, I cut an entire die cut of the same size and I layer that on top. And so you end up with a card and then I, I take those three pieces and I glue them onto the backer piece. And so it's really easy to create just these really sweet heart cards. And this one uses that beautiful gray floral paper. And then I did two flowers um, as well as a piece of the foliage on here. And I love this gray tone with the green and uh, the white flowers. I think it's so pretty. And then I also did some in pink and I used um, some of the uh, script paper in the background, the pink polka paper. These little flowers, again, are from Hobby Lobby. And this is that beautiful pink paper with the white um, or cream colored hearts on it. And then when I open it up, the back side of the paper is this cute little floral print. So when you open the card up, it's kind of a surprise. And then I just lined it with a, one of the smaller hearts so that you could write a little note. Um, so I made two of those. Um, and I think these would be so cute. Again, you could use them as on a birthday gift, on a wedding gift, um, for so many different things. And the other thing that you could do is make a bunch of them and uh, use the gift, um, the gift uh, bag dies that Emma has, various gifting things in her uh, die arsenal to create um, a holder. And you could give a whole series of these with the matching envelopes. And I ran out of time tonight to do that for you guys. Um, I had a hectic day today, but um, it's such a fun way to give a little packet of cards, maybe to a family member who does not do creating cards on their own and would appreciate receiving them. So those are my first three little heart cards. And I'll set those down there so you can see them. And that, again, is using the middle-sized uh, die set, okay? And then um, I played with the larger die set, and uh, I made this card here, and I wanted to use that kind of darkish black uh, polka dot. I added some of the green floral and then three of the flowers that I had made. And uh, this one says, wishing you a joyous birthday. And uh, you can see again where I made a card and then I die cut um, the black polka layer to put on top of the card and then glued the card to the backer piece so that it opens up like this. So this these just turn out so cute. I did add a little flower to the back and uh, I love how these turned out and also just how quickly they come together. So that's using the largest die um, in the set. And then for fun, um, I also wanted to play around with the smallest die. So I created two different cards um, using the mini slimline size. And I, I did three of the small hearts going down the card. I used this beautiful pink polka dot as well as the reverse with the pink script. And uh, I did uh, add a, a flower to the center one. And I debated on putting sentiments on these, but it's nice to have cards in your stash that don't have sentiments so that you can then, if a birthday comes up, a wedding, an anniversary, whatever it is that you need, you can add sentiments here and here and have the card all ready to go in just a couple moments. And then on the inside, I just added one of the cute card layer dies that stitched in a little um, piece of the paper. And uh, I did the, the beautiful script paper on the back again. So I just think these ones are so elegant. And the nice thing about having these type of dies, um, die sets, 
or you have multiple pieces of the same shape is that you can do so many fun things uh, repetitively on a card front or on a scrapbook page even. So here's the second one that I did. Again, I used that beautiful gray paper. I just think this is so elegant and this would be such a beautiful wedding card, I think, or even a sympathy card. Um, so this one again has the three hearts of the smallest size. I added a little flower and then I layered up my papers uh, from the beautiful paper pad. And uh, I made, I added some decorative papers to the inside. And then on the back, I added the last little strip of this paper I think that I have left. <laughs> and um, I did a little flower here. So I believe I've used all four sheets of the gray paper now um, for all of my projects that I'm showing this week. So I love how these ones turned out. And anytime you do repetition, on the front of a card. It always is, I think, very pleasing to the eye. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing these beautiful cards. And uh, I have one last project to share. I was playing around. This was the very first thing I made, actually. And uh, I just was playing around with layering all three cards on top of each other. And um, so this would be a fun one. Now, I did it all in pink, but you could definitely do a different color on your backer piece than on your card base. But I thought it might be kind of fun to do a tone on tone um, tag with this. So this is actually a tag that you can hang up, if you will. It has a little bead that says love on it that I got at Hobby Lobby in a packet. And uh, I used some, some of these beads on my last Saturday Morning Makes episode. Um, where I was also sharing some heart tags. But this is another type of heart tag that you can do. I tied a double bow uh, with some seam binding and, um, and then I layered up all three cards glued together. And if you open the cards, it says, I love and then you. And uh, this is in that beautiful scripty paper um, from the paper pads. So, and these are Emma's uh, letter dies, and I forgot to bring the letter dies in here to show you, but her alphabet dies are in the store. And um, it's just such a sweet way to make a tag um, that is dimensional. And I think these would be a lot of fun to also gift for Valentine's Day to someone you love just to say happy Valentine's Day. You could make them masculine by incorporating darker colors like red or black. Um, this one is certainly feminine in the pink. Um, it would be also very pretty for the top of a wedding package and uh, you could put a, a message in there to the bride and groom. Um, so I just had so much fun with these beautiful heart dies and I think that they are the perfect um, die set to be used, you know, for so many different things, uh, you know, so to have all three sizes um, gives you so much versatility in your creations. And I just had a wonderful time playing with this set. I think it's a wonderful staple to have in your stash. And um, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I created using these beautiful, beautiful heart dies. So this is what I had to share for you for this second day of Sneaky Peaks for the My Creative Time 140th edition release. And I hope that you guys um, enjoy hopping around over on Instagram as well as YouTube today to see everybody that is sharing videos and social media posts. And um, especially make sure to check out Emma's channel at the My Creative Time YouTube channel. Emma always has so many beautiful projects to share. And of course, she has all the information about all the products. Don't forget to use, uh, everybody has a discount code assigned to them that's part of the design team. Mine is Jill and it will get you 15% off during the release sale, which one runs Friday at 8 a.m. Um, March 15th, all the way through Sunday the 17th at 11.59 p.m. And our codes are good every day of the year. Um, it just depends on what sales Emma is running. Um, so during the release, you get 15% off using my code Jill. And after the release, you can still use my code. It'll just revert to the everyday discount of 10%. So it's nice that Emma has discounts uh, every day of the year. I love that about her shop and um, the beautiful products that she brings to all of us to use. So thank you so much for watching. I hope um, you enjoy seeing all the beautiful heart projects that you're going to, to see today. And uh, I just um, had so much fun creating with all of the beautiful 
uh, stamps and dies that are part of this wonderful release. I'll be back tomorrow for the third day of Sneaky Peaks. And then Friday morning, of course, we'll, we'll show everybody all of our projects during the release videos. Um, and I hope that you will enjoy uh, picking out maybe your favorite projects uh, or your favorite um, stamps and dies from the release as well as the paper pads to purchase. So thanks for watching this morning. Everybody have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you on Thursday morning for the third day of Sneak Peeks. Bye now.